What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since I'm talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today, Jeepers Creepers Reborn. So we'll be talking about this idea regarding the creeper cult that we may or may not be getting in the film. Um, just again going off of that image of Lane that we know exists on the Jeepers Creepers Reborn official site where she's in the center and she's circled by what many of us would associate with cult-like activities <laughs> going off of other horror movies and films that we've seen in the past previously and what we've been getting more recently from certain distributions distributors like a24 as well so if there is a cult how long have they actually been around would they actually say that this is a cult that has been around for many centuries because what this is also doing and i think i've touched on this previously this is them of course drawing inspiration if you're familiar with the comics the aztecs used to worship this thing they used to do like little offerings to it uh, and they could just be drawing inspiration from it in that regard so what they could explore here is adding some interesting dynamics to what actually goes on during these during the creepers 23 day feeding cycle so every 23rd spring of course so if there is a cult that's been around for many centuries this could be going all the way back to early poho county settlers or just early settlers who were spread out across these counties that now exist along the east nine highway that we know about uh kissel county portula county all of those counties that we know exist in this universe this could be a cult of individuals not something massive you won't be going into paranormal activity territory where you open a door and there's like a a room full of uh over over thousands or hundreds of people nothing like that i would keep it a very small um like elitist type circle if you will that exists in this area and what happens is these could be people who over the years to kind of keep this monster that they know exists in the area at ease keep their family safe from it and maybe they also get something in return outside of it. you know being able to live and not be touched or harmed in any way they do certain activities on behalf of this monster we know that the creeper likes to smell certain things within the people he stalks to see if there's something in the fear that they like and then he eats and regenerates his parts that way uh what if these individuals also help him in the sense that maybe they kidnap individuals in these areas and they take them to these layers that they know exist for the creeper the creeper returns to these layers and he comes back to his lair with his own stuff that he's picked up of course with his truck and he sees the offerings that were left there from for him by these other individuals he would of course decide if anyone's fear is necessarily something he wants from them or if not he just he just kills them and makes you know the little uh artistic pieces that we know he likes to make with his victims uh stitching them up sewing them onto his house of pain that could be something that they introduced because i know in the original film we had dairy gazing at a lot of missing missing people posters or something like that at the end at the at the sheriff station or the police station he was staring at a lot of missing individual posters so maybe they add some interesting weight to that the creeper isn't the only one that's making these people go missing he has followers that are actually doing this for him they collect them they take them to where the creepers layers are and he decides if he wants anything from them if he does of course he he will kill them and eat them if not he still kills them and adds them to his collection of art pieces that exist in his house of pain so I think that would be an interesting thing to explore if you want to say that you have a area where a select few individuals associated with certain families uh, because they have they again would be passed on from these earlier Poho County settlers who now make up the families that are a part of this elite circle of people who worship and know about this monster. They do it. They do their best to, of course, remain hidden and secretive. Uh, they abduct people during the 23 day cycle. They take these people to where the creeper wants them to be. Uh, as far as we know, is associated with the haunted, the house of pains that he has. And then the creeper decides what he wants to do with them. And in return, these people don't get touched. Their families don't get touched. And there could be some other other benefit for them as well that exists that I can't really think of other than just them wanting to remain safe during this 23 day cycle. It's not necessarily something that's a part of a cult of people who are necessarily wanting to overly worship this thing. It's just things that have been passed on for so many generations. And then you have this elite group of people 
who are spread out across these counties. They could even come together every 23rd spring when they know it's about to awaken and, and go over plans that they have to rest, to keep a, keep assured that their families will not be touched. They themselves will not be touched and to just have that agreement that's in place between the creeper and this cult of people that he knows exist as well and they just fulfill it by going out there every 23rd spring taking up some bodies taking them to where the creeper would want them to be and letting him do as he pleases with them i think that would be an interesting thing to explore this again would be something that allows the creeper to still exist on his own without having a cult that is the puppet master because i don't need anything along the lines of curse of michael myers territory allow the monster to still operate on its own they have nothing to do with also the 23rd day cycle and why it comes out every 23rd spring they're not summoning it or anything like that it's just a group of people who out of mostly fear themselves do things to save their own life and the lives of their loved ones because of a long ancient generational cult that's been going on in this area ever since the creeper first appeared in the poho county area this again would be something that they can see also occurred if they do some research and digging in this movie that unlocks that the creeper's been across other several civilizations such as the aztecs and what he did there with them and how it was basically the same thing that happens in this in this area a select few people who remain um i guess you could say invincible from it not invincible of course but I, that's just the word i'm thinking of at, at this point from the creeper's attacks from his hunger from any danger that he poses when he awakens every 23rd spring and eats for 23 days because they're going out there and actively helping add to the body count so that's something i think many of you might be on board with maybe you're not on board with it i think that this is just would be a way to have that cult angle still remain fresh in some capacity because you'll have a cult who's not necessarily in agreement with what's going on they operate out of fear and operate in in of course selfish fashion because they themselves are just trying to protect them and their loved ones by sacrificing the loved ones of others to keep this monster at bay away from them and their loved ones they're not trying to find a way to get the monster out of there they don't even know how to get it out of there they just know that every 20th of their spring it awakens and they do what they can to make sure it doesn't impact them or their family but you guys can let me know what you think about that if you think we get a cult do you think they'll establish that it's been around for centuries let me know all that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post your name is video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video